All right, we are back. This is the 2021 Casuals Only Tournament. I'm joined again by Walter White. This is um, Game 2, Stampede on Krakatoa. Um, are you ready to get into this? I am, if you are. Yeah, absolutely. All righty, here we go. Oh, God, I'm the captain. Um, yeah, so, you know, this is a... Uh, a map where um, you know there's obviously tons of water, um, and you're just trying to get your peasants to the other side. Um, let's see, we have Team Overdose with General Pepper, Sunny Days, Sela, and Spy versus Team Father Xmas with Reekfish, Walter White, Sephirescent, and MP Chip. Uh, so, Walter White, what are your impressions so far? Well, so far, it uh, waits to be seen what the, the trade each team goes with, uh, particularly given their uh, their players. But in general, I would say that uh, unlike last game, uh, the the switch of player uh, is going to be Sunny Days uh, moving over to Team Overdose, and so that'll be um, that'll be a pretty difficult thing to overcome, maybe for uh, for Father Xmas, but whether or not. Uh, Sunny Days has experience in this map and, and all those things waits to be seen. But in general, I think that the teams are pretty well balanced. Uh, it's just a matter of what the Caps choose in terms of UT. Yeah, I mean, it appears as though uh, Father Xmas and Overdose have nearly an identical trade. Both uh, they, did, they opted not to have any uh, art or bowmen, uh, mostly relying on Thrall, probably for defense, goals for you know, scouting, throwing pus, that kind of thing. Um, some dwarves for backup and uh, obviously a group of warriors. We see Overdose drawing on the map. I don't know what exactly he's drawing. Probably some roots for the villagers. But um, yeah, I would say these are nearly identical trades. Um, do you see any major differences? Feels to me uh, like uh, Father Xmas may have a bit more thrall and maybe a bit more pus. But I don't know if that's true. Yeah, um, it's kind of hard to see. There are some trees in the background, so yeah. I mean, it, I, it looks like I got six whites, so I think we. No, you have more pus, yeah. So, yeah, but he has more thrall than I think. So we have a cannon. That's interesting. Yeah, that ended up. Uh, neither team ended up really utilizing that, but I don't think there was a, an effective way really to to do it. I mean, I didn't even know you you could use it. So I, <laughs> um, it's. Uh, this wouldn't be a map approved for MWC for that reason. I think it's based on, oh, it's because it's the legendary uh, play, play type instead of normal in the top left. Do you see that? Uh, yeah. So that includes a cannon. Okay. Well, but, I mean, we, we played more than one game that featured units that we had no idea how they were. What they would do. Yeah. And that's that part is, of the glory of this tournament, though. Yeah, I mean, that's the beauty of the Casuals Tournament, um, is that anything is on the table, as we will find out in future weeks, uh, especially in regards to Father Xmas and his map selections. Um, but yeah, we're a minute in. Why don't, well, let me run this a little more, because uh, this is actually a pretty wide map here. Uh, we got Father Xmas drawing on the map, it seems, um, telling his teammates where to go. Um, and... Yeah, I mean, it seems like all of these, all of these whites. Uh, oh, we still have some. Oh, I guess, I guess Team Overdose did not heal his whites. We have a, a bunch floating around. Um, that's a bit disconcerting. Whereas Father Xmas opted to heal all of his whites, but there are some some uh, big pus packets still at their base. Um, yeah, this is a good time to stop, I think. So. What we see here in the north, um, got Overdose with a goal pack, um, Sunny Days in the middle, it seems, and then in the south, we have a more traditional force of uh, General Pepper and Sela. For, for Team Father Xmas, we have a MP, MP Minship Warrior pack going down the south. It seems like all the villagers are going through the mid, um, guarded by Reekfish and some of your some of your goals, um, some thrall down there, um, and see where are, where are team overdoses. Okay, so they decided to go north. They're probably gonna try and run their villagers to the northeast flag. Um, 
and then Father Exmus is, well, I don't, I, I don't, he might go through the north, he might go through the mid, who knows. Um, but yeah, uh, what do you see going on right now? What I see the most is, uh, is actually a matter of uh, the red team, so Father Xmas's goals getting uh, out into scouting position. Uh, so really trying to do a number to find out which route their villagers can be and get the eye on where um, Overdose is sending the villagers and potentially even as to which route might be a good way to to move forward from where Father Xmas has his. And so I think that having Reekfish really uh, maintaining a, a strong defensive position, particularly just right right there, because it's uh, it would be too difficult and take probably about two or three more minutes for uh, Team Overdose to get any of those whites into a position that they could do anything. So right now, I think that that's a, a tactful place to be, that they, they have multiple routes of escape, but they also have the ability to uh, kind of pick and choose if they want to go straight through, if they want to go north, or if they want to go south with uh, with the villagers. Yep, they're definitely keeping their options open. You mentioned the whites earlier. It doesn't seem like uh, Team Overdose healed any of his whites. Now, is that a mistake? It doesn't have to be on a map like this. It, it actually can uh, can be a difference, and, and we might see that later. It, can, it really depends. I've <laughs> I mean, seen honestly, I can't even remember what happened. So that's why it's a good uh, good idea to go down memory lane and check these things out because um, I have no idea how this tournament went or this game this game or this tournament went. Um, so yeah, you want to. Keep and and I, I will say that um, it's just a good best practice for the opposing team to kind of try to view the enemy base and see do they see any healed pus because that gives you an idea of okay how many whites were tradable on this uh did they they didn't heal any so that means that you know on on uh xmas's thinking his team could think well there might be whites in any of these waters so we really have to take a, a take caution as we go through here so it's not a bad thing it can be even just a mental thing Okay, well, do you think anyone on Team Father Xmas has the mental capacity to think like that? Uh, I know that that's something that I I was thinking from the, the get-go. I don't know that I uh, communicated it other than over voice. Because at this point, all of us were on voice. Uh, so anything that I was communicating in text was really just meant for Xmas. Since he was like, the, I think he was the only one that wasn't on voice. Uh, I don't believe Sunny Days was on voice either. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. So for your team, that could be another thing. Yeah, and Father Xmas might have been on voice, but he was on, you know, he just mutes himself. So he might have been able to listen but not speak. That could be too. So yeah, if he ends up saying something later on, it might be like a yes, no, or response type of thing. It might be because he heard it on voice but responded through chat. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's 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 uh, get going on this. Um yeah, it's, it's kind of uh, three different areas in the map to keep an eye on. It'll be kind of hard to uh, figure out which one to look at. Um, so if I recall, I'm running all of the Gauls right now in the various position, trying to get basically a, a, just eyes on where everyone is. And I think that's where I, I end up spotting you up here, and that's where we end up making a big change in our um, where we're sending units. Okay, yeah, we see Reekfish um, sort of detaching himself from the villagers and instead going north. Um, you know, I'm still trying to kill these ghouls. Um, oh, that's me with the villagers as well. Based on the zoom, I probably would spot you right about now-ish. Yeah, I mean, if you have a pus, I don't know why Overdose is not spreading his... I don't think I do, actually, because I think that these goals were just meant to strictly get eyes. Oh, okay, because if they did have pus, that would have been bad news for Team Overdose. Um, just to quickly check some of these other areas, it seems like MP is making a push south with his, um, with his warriors. The middle, there seems to be a battle being set up. Um, the warriors... They don't really have any opposition except for Spy, um, but I, I think 
Reekfish's force is quite a bit larger. Um, overdose doing... Particularly with where that dwarf is in position. He's about to not be able to throw very well. Yes. Uh, you know, the dwarves definitely are vulnerable when they're in the water unless they have a direct hit on a unit. Um, that's bad news. Uh, it seems like... Oh, some overdose doing nothing with his goal or with his... Uh, oh, that's not good. And I wasted that second pus, but I got you in the first one anyway. That was so. a dastardly tactic, if I may say so myself. <laughs> That's uh, Overdose dropping his um, units to spy, probably for ratios. Um, You're such a ratio whore. <laughs> yeah. We have um, let's see, Overdose and his gold pack trying to do as much damage as possible to this huge wall of, of um, warriors sort of the last line of defense uh, to protect these peasants because uh, Spy really has a bunch of beat up warriors but this is all we got um, let's keep a track on it looks like Father Xmas's team might have oh he might have lost some of his peasants so, so, so let's see who's running that goal that goal got in there and snuck around that was a great move by Spy yeah I I thought I had all the goals. That's I got excited for a second. Oh, yep. Those are these are my goals. The ones getting exploded. So, but um, oh yeah. Oh, that was a great shot. Reek made some really clutch moves. What well, with uh, that particular Molotov and then the pus up north on that dwarf. Yeah. He might be my MVP for this game if uh, Red holds out. Yeah, that did not make me happy. It looks like uh, Sunny Days when uh, Sunny Days and General Pepper won against Empy in the south. Um, What's happening with your villagers? My villagers are making a run for it. I th I believe I still have have all of mine intact. Whereas so you right now at this point could uh, could have the advantage. Yeah, if we. Uh, yeah, but you see, I'm I'm. I'm you're in a very vulnerable position for sure. No, I'm, I was trying to bait you guys because I have this white right here. Um, with, I was trying to bait you guys with my villagers, but uh, yeah, you guys kind of came in in sort of a stunted manner. When you, if you see, I, I called it on the chat there. White is in water. Yeah. So I knew I, I knew to watch out. But for that, and again, that that's some, you know some of MP's warrior. I thought he went all of. He sent all of his warriors south. Maybe they just walked the whole map. I don't know. But now these uh, peasants, or villagers rather, are getting massacred. There's not much support. Um, oh, I've got two whites there. Um, yeah, this is falling if only if you Only if you had been able to get one of the whites just a little bit more north to yeah. where we're crossing. Yeah. Maybe some of these units could have moved to the north. Um but yeah, these, these villagers are now running for their lives. They got a gold pack hot on their trail. Some warriors, uh, the white, obviously. What, what are, who are all your units middle? Just uh, a big group Sailor. there that's, that's kind of just also stuck way out of position. Yeah, well, I mean, I think everyone was more or less supposed to go their own ways. Maybe he killed somebody. Now he was looking for someone else. To kill um but yeah these guys um are not having a good time it looks like you guys are going to score some points here uh behind this huge wall of warriors um yeah you guys get five um and it looks like we might not get any We're just gonna that's a fun them. map really interesting uh i mean i didn't have a good time on this map to be honest over uh but yeah i mean that was it this last villager uh when he dies that means the game is over because there are no more villagers on the map um we can see that father xmas's team uh sent five of their villagers to the other side and um team overdose with nothing so um what uh what do you have to say about this game walter 
I think uh, it really came down to scouting, really, at the the very beginning of really kind of trying to identify how the other team was going to play their villagers. And I think it was almost a matter of the first team to get eyes on the uh, opposing team's vil- uh, yeah, stamp units ended up being in a much better position. But I think in terms of MVP, I would give it to Reekfish. He made some very clutch plays and came out of it with the top damage on the team. That said, I mean, Xmas did get his negatives for healing all the whites, but uh, even still, <laughs> I think that uh, Reekfish really stepped up that game. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm going to agree with you. You know, he was really the guy who made the push in, in the north with his with his warriors. Um, you know, he sort of cleared the way for Father Xmas to send his villagers to the other side, um, killing my gold pack, killing Spy's warrior pack, causing all kinds of havoc in the north. Um, and avoiding the whites, yep. Yeah, and, um, you know, that really just set you guys up for victory. Um, you know, it, Sunny Days and General Pepper, you know, probably the two best players on Team Overdose. They were fighting in the south. Um, which turned out to be sort of a, a battle that had minimal impact on the outcome of the game. Um, so perhaps their talents were wasted. Um, maybe the villagers should have, um, or Team Overdose's villagers should have run behind Sunny Days or General Pepper um, rather than Overdose and Spy. Um, but uh, be that as it may... Um, you know, I do think... I wouldn't necessarily put General Pepper as one of your better team members. I would maybe even put uh, put your spy even just slightly above, depending upon what time of year we're playing. Uh, but I think for this, um, yeah, I think that you know he, he he's a good player for sure. But no, I think that um, I just wanted to point that out. Sorry. Okay. No. No. No problems. Um, yeah. So that was. Game two of the tournament, um, again, you know, uh, if I can recall correctly, Overdose, Spy, um, yeah, I guess, maybe General Pepper as well, we, you know, we have lost both games so far, so, um, you know, we all started with seven, seven life, and we're already down to five um, after two games, so not very good on our part, um, but yeah, do you have any closing remarks? No, I, I think that that's a map I'd lo- love to see replayed in the future. Um, probably without the cannons, cause just because I don't know what they could do, but maybe with the cannons, I don't know. Maybe that was a missed opportunity, but I, I think that the range of these, since they're stationary, I don't think that they can hit the flags north or south, so I don't think that there was a way to that they were even effective. If anything, they, they're just like, don't rush you know, the center flag. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well, I am. Let me just do a quick scroll through. Scroll through of the numbers, uh, the damage, the kills, whatever. Um, all right. And um, 